back you here with us on NDTV Profit. As we speak right now, markets are uh, still under pressure, about 64 points lower. That's nifty for you, uh, 7,826 where it is trading right now. Sensex is down 250 odd points to 25,558. Broader markets continue to remain weak as well, though the broader markets are slightly better than the frontline indices. There you have BSE small cap, which is now uh, coming to the green. BSE mid cap still down about four tenths of a percent and nifty next. 50 lower by 100 odd points we've been talking about specific earnings let's see how symphony is doing in trade right now symphony came out with its numbers the stock currently is up 20 odd rupees per share at 2456 right now in their fourth quarter they have posted a net profit standalone net profit of 46.5 crore rupees standalone net income came in total income i beg your pardon came in at 137 odd crore rupees mr nirupesh shah executive director at symphony is now joining us on the phone line from Ahmedabad. Mr. Shah, thank you very much for joining us here on NDTV Profit. Good to have you on the show today. Can you uh, tell us how the quarter was for the company? We've seen growth both on the top line as well as on the bottom line. Yeah, by the way, third quarter uh, ended on 31st March 16. Uh, Earnings were also good quarter end and also nine months year end for the company. So for the quarter, top line growth has been about 10%. And that growth has been about 27% on a standalone basis. While year as a whole for nine months, on a consolidated basis, top line growth as well as volume growth both have been about 19%. And that uh, growth with exceptional item is about 41%, and excluding exceptional item is up by about 31%. And immediate margin, we have been in a position to increase further almost by 300 BPS on a standalone basis and by about 170 BPS on a standard consolidated basis. Right. Uh, you've reported, if I'm wrong, a volume growth of about 8.6%. Uh, what's the outlook or as far as volumes are concerned, Mr. Shah? Yeah, volume growth for the quarter has been about 8% and for the year, it has been ninety percent Right. And where are you likely to see, uh, where do you see volume growth headed from here? Uh, which key geographies are likely to uh, see strong demand ahead? What's the outlook? Yeah. So, June quarter, currently, uh, volume growth has been about 8 to 9 percent. Uh, and for the year, we have been in a in fact, in some of the territories in these two regions have almost doubled the sale on YOY disease in last six weeks. And as far as remaining parts of the country are concerned, uh, we expect that in the days to come, heat will pick up and demand should pick up. So June quarter as of now seems to be quite promising. Yeah, otherwise for a medium to long term, the kind of guidance what we give is on a year basis, there can be 20-25 percentage profit growth. Having said that, in some quarter, in some year, there can be exceptional low or high growth. Right. In terms of margins, we've seen a strong expansion coming into this quarter. Uh, uh, what uh, what led to this kind of a margin growth, and what's the outlook ahead? Yeah. So by and large, at operating margin level, we are confident to maintain the current margin even on expanded uh, business. And uh, there are a couple of reasons for increase in margin. One is uh, economies of scale. Second is better operational efficiency. Third is a better sales mix. And lastly, softening of the commodity prices. So combination of all these have helped. Right, and you are expecting them to remain uh, around 42%, that's the current level? Yeah, so at operating level, we are quite optimistic to maintain around current level. Right, uh, considering, sir, the competition is also picking up pace, are you likely to be more aggressive as far as advertisement is concerned? How much was the cost in Q4 and how much are you likely to see in the, in the last quarter and how much are you likely to see ahead? We do incur segment and sales promotion expenses, keeping in mind our business plan and targeted sales. 
And despite competition, Symphony has not only maintained, year by year it has improved its leadership position. So even in the current year also, we are quite hopeful to maintain our leadership, uh, mainly on account of our focus on air cooling uh, segment and also on account of continued innovation and branding and distribution network. Any new launches, sir, that are lined up for FI-17? Very recently, we have launched two uh, path-breaking models. So, one is a cloud model, model which is a wall-mounted split kind of air cooler. And that is the first of its kind in air cooling industry. And we have applied for global patent. And second is a IPR air cooler. So it's a combination of air cooling and air purifier. And uh, in line with Symphony's philosophy, there will be at the regular interval new launch and upgradation of existing models. Right. And uh, how has been the initial response for cloud, sir? And how soon are you likely to get the patent? Initial response has been phenomenal as far as patent is concerned. It's a time-consuming process. And it is the respective authorities which decide, so I can't define it. But patent is granted from the date of application. Right. And last question, sir, in terms of targets, uh, what kind of a top-line growth are you eyeing in the next quarter? We don't give any forecast on a quarterly or yearly basis, but as I said earlier, on a CGR basis, in medium term, we are hopeful to achieve 20-25 percentage side growth. All right. So 20 to 25 percent pad growth is something that you are looking forward to. Thank you very much, Mr. Shah, for joining us here on NDTV Profit and sharing with us the details about the quarter and the outlook going forward there. Margins have expanded sharply. They've reported strong set of numbers and a volume growth of about 8.6 percent in the third quarter. The stock currently is up 17 odd rupees per share. We'll slip into a quick break. Don't go anywhere. Focus on markets will continue after that.